talk tonight about something, and we do have a couple of our leaders right here that they will be praying. And we tonight we're gonna be we're gonna have a, a time of teaching, but also we're gonna be praying. And Angie is back here taking notes. If you have any any prayer request or any testimony you want to share, just comment right here. Angie will be taking those, and we will be uh, somehow we'll be praying for you tonight. So if you have a prayer request, do it right now or through the, the whole time because we want to pray for you and we want to just release the kingdom over your life. Okay, let me just say this. When I came to Christ, I was just probably 12 years old and I was part of a, a Methodist church that these people were fired up. And that Methodist church, you could see people speaking in tongues and casting out demons and, and I was just, it was amazing to be part of that church. In the beginning was kind of like scary when we had those big crusades of, uh, of uh, somebody, an evangelist, that were coming and you can see the demons and, um, and then people cast, I mean, it was just a messy. One time I remember one of our members uh, of the Methodist Church said to me, Josue, I was not a pastor, I was just part of the worship team, I think I was 13 years old. And she said to me, I have a spiritual problems in my house. And when she said that spiritual problems, I said, okay, but let's just go ahead and go I'm going to go there and pray for, for her life and her husband, her house and everything will be normal and things like that. So I went to the house and I, let me just be honest, I was not ready to what I was just about to experience uh, and face. When I got to the house, she said, uh, Josue, we have a, sometime I'm sleeping and I feel like there's some of power that will take me out and we put me right up to the uh, ceiling and I can feel that the temperature in the room just increasing and, and being hot and being cold and, the, and, 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 and being this I can hear steps in my house I can, I can, I can see the, the, uh, somebody like uh, killing my dog and it was just like a movie it was just like a movie I th I, in the beginning I thought, I thought this, this lady is crazy I was just going to go ahead and pray. I was 13 years old. I remember I got to that kitchen. It was a beautiful kitchen. And when I got to the kitchen, I smelled something. And it, it smelled like tobacco. And I, when I got there, I said, this, this smell is weird. Because I know these people are Christian. And I know they, they've been, they, they, don't, they don't smoke. I, I know this is a, 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 a family. That I know them forever. Uh, and, 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 she, and I asked her, do you guys smoke here? Do you guys have some cigarettes or something? And she said, no, we've never done anything here. And suddenly I felt that, that like my chest was a, a weight on my chest. And I said, this is so weird. I've never had this like I couldn't breathe. I smelled like tobacco. And suddenly I saw in a corner was a demon. And, it, and probably if you're watching right now, don't think we are crazy. We are way more than crazy. So that demon was in that corner this way. There were fin his fingers were like this big. I was 13 years old. 13. I never asked for my eyes to be open. I was a good Christian, a good boy, praying the worship team, feeling the Holy Spirit, the presence. But I never had an encounter with a demon. So when I was there, I saw that demon, it was like this on, on, in, the, in that corner, and I felt that when he was breathing, which was cold air coming through his mouth, I couldn't see his faith, face, but suddenly I felt that fear that took over my bones and my blood and my muscles and everything. I, I felt like I was just going to run, that smell of tobacco which was everywhere in my chest, I couldn't breathe. And at that point, I said something. That I will never forget. I said, pa, I, I said, they give me a second. I said, Father, you know I'm not ready. You know I've never experienced this. I, you know my pastor is not here. I don't even have any of my advisors or people that I can reach out to. But right now, I don't have a cell phone that I can call someone. But I know that I heard that there is power in the blood of Jesus. So I stood up and I faced that demon. And I said, in Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus, get out of this house. And suddenly I saw like in a smoke of fog coming out of the house and peace took over the house. That was my first encounter with a demon. And since that moment, I've been having almost every two or three days an encounter that when I see demons, I see people and I see the, the, the spirit behind them. Why I'm telling you this and why I'm just starting this um, night with this revelation is because if we believe that there is a God and there's a supernatural power 
and there's an army we need to believe that there is an enemy that he is very organized and this is what I feel whatever is going on in America it is based in people's heart I know that it, it, people are messed up and sometimes we we make wrong decisions and things like that but at the same time I believe there is there is a force behind behind everything that's going on right now and it is an enemy trying to impact and destroy a country that is based in the word of the Lord and this is amazing if you see it there is no country like America that's why people like uh, like me and my family are here we are a Christian country we have a president that stand out with the Bible we believe that America it is a place, it's a holy place that he's been, you know, my family in Cuba, we are Christians today because years ago, so a missionary from America went to Cuba. She preached to my great great grandma, and since that moment was an inheritance of Christianity and, and the blood of Jesus, I'm saved today as a Cuban guy because of someone from America. We need to keep America the missionary sending center to around the world. We steal that. But tonight, we, I'm going to just give you a couple of examples about what I believe and what I, I feel is a, a spiritual warfare. And I'm coming from a country that uh, we do have uh, an African, very strong African uh, culture. That when Spain took the, Afri the, the, the African to our, our, our country, they brought their religion. And so the main religion where I'm coming from is Santeria. So it's witchcraft. I've been in places sometimes. I've been preaching in my church. One time I was preaching. And pro I promise everybody here that I'm not going to be speaking a lot. So I, I remember one time I was pre preaching in my church and I couldn't breathe. I felt that I, I was just, somebody was taking my breath. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe, and I, I saw, I, I saw a, a, a lady that she had something in, he, in his, her purse, and her purse were, was bleeding. And I say, one of my ushers said, can you go and check what, what's going on over there? The lady had a chicken in her purse, and she was strangulating the chicken, and she was piercing the chicken because the chicken had my name on and she was trying to stop the war of God and she was doing witchcraft against what I was just saying and I couldn't breathe and I got the revelation there's a spiritual warfare right here going on and it is trying to stop the war of God we took care of that we went and we took the chicken uh, uh, thankfully I, I was just ready to eat the chicken but she didn't want me to uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a couple principles about spiritual warfare tonight and please share 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 there are only three people that have shared so far um, this is we are fighting against a system you're not fighting against your mother-in-law you're not fighting against your uh, your neighbor you're fighting against a system that is very well organized there is not a, a kid, the kingdom of hell is not messy the kingdom of hell is very well organized and I'm gonna give give you a revelation tonight about that the second is we are fighting it is a fight between two kingdoms the kingdom of hell and the kingdom of heaven the kingdom of hell is operating illegally in this earth and the kingdom of heaven is the only kingdom that is legal that's why he called us ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven because we do have the authority to establish the kingdom of heaven everywhere you go because the kingdom of heaven took over the earth and there is a legal paperwork if that was done at the cross the Bible says that Jesus went down to hell and took that document that was against us and he nailed it at the cross and he put the, the church right with him gave authority of the church and he took the keys from the enemy so we as a church that's why in the beginning when we were all the churches were closing and we were trying to f uh, obey the government be respectful and everything like that and I honor everybody that did it I honor that we were, uh, we were um, uh, under the authority and everything, but we are the solution. If you take the, own, the, the, the entity, the, 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 the government that can handle crisis, that is the kingdom of God, not the United States of America, not Russia, not Italy, not Cuba, the only kingdom that can take care of everything that's going on, it is the kingdom of heaven. The only kingdom that can change people's heart is the kingdom of heaven. The only kingdom that has authority even over diseases that we don't know yet is the kingdom of heaven. 
So, it is a fight between two kingdoms. It is, it, it is a fight between two... Okay, first, it, it is a fight between two kingdoms. And these two kingdoms have something that I really like. One kingdom has a king. And it's God. And he made us a kingdom of kings and priests. So we have the anointing to release, and we have our no anointing to dominate, okay? And in the kingdom of hell, there is no king. There is a prince of hell. That's why the enemy, the Bible says, the Bible says, Jesus said, there, this is, there is a, the prince of hell is coming, and he doesn't have anything on me. There's nothing he can do, not just because he was a king, and not just, oh, not just because he was the son of God. It's because a prince will never have more authority than a king. And the, only, the thing that the enemy is so mad about, and you know what? The enemy wants to destroy you, not because you're cute, not because you look good, not because you have a, 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 a nice haircut. He wants to destroy you because there are two things in your life that he doesn't like. One, he's an orphan and you're a son and a daughter. And second, he is a prince and you with doing nothing, you got promoted to be a king. Did that make sense? I thought you were going to be making some noise over there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the third point right here. It is, it's like, it is a fight between two families. It's a fight between the kingdom of heaven. It is, it's, it's always about raising up sons and daughters. The kingdom of hell, because they don't have father, they're raising up orphans. Satan is not a father. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Our enemy is not carnal. You're not fighting against flesh or blood. There's so, much, so many scriptures that I could tell you right now, but I want to keep move forward because I just want to keep this in 45 minutes on an hour. But if you have any questions, just text, and we, I'm, I'm going to make sure, personally, I'm going to make sure that I send you this, the scriptures. Uh, our enemy is not carnal, uh, so don't fight against uh, what's going on right now. There is always something in, in behind the. F uh, there, we don't. We cannot blame enemy for everything. That's a the point there. We cannot blame him for everything that happens. So, like, we need to take responsibility in our life. But when we see what, 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 what you, when you see what's going on in America, there are two sides of the story right here. There is one that we need to take control. I don't get. I'm probably going to get into places that I, that I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it because first I'm a citizen of the kingdom of heaven and I'm a citizen of this country. And, and I feel and I, I have feel pain for this country. If you want to go out and say, I do not agree with this, good job. Do it. That's your right to do it. But you don't have the right to go and destroy somebody's business. You don't have the right to go and destroy somebody's property. You have the right to say, that's injustice, and we shouldn't have that. We shouldn't have that in America. And go out and make sure you, you make your voice heard, and everybody can hear that you do not agree with that. Amen. But you don't have the power and the authority to go and destroy somebody's business that's been trying for so many years to... So it, it, it is not carnal, but sometimes there are so many... Uh, okay, let me keep going. I, I want to keep... Uh, okay. And, and the other one, the number five, this is a, this is a revelational the part that I, when I learned this, this is amazing. Every attack that comes from hell, it is seasonal. It will never last forever. So what you're experiencing right now, it is oppre oppressing you right now. That opp oppression will not be for forever because there are seasons that, and I experienced that in my life, that you feel seasoned, okay, this is tied, I don't feel anything, and you pray, Papa, what's going on? He, he said, the enemy is trying to destroy your family, the enemy is trying to destroy your kids. You stand up and you fight. If you have been fighting against the enemy for 30 years for the same thing, there is something wrong. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be, it should be that the enemy will stand up, we come and fight to you, you will raise up, fight against him, get the victory, build up your faith, build up your, your immune, your spiritual immune cell, uh, uh, steam, <laughs> and go up and fight against the next thing. So it, it is seasonal, that's why we, uh, uh, okay, you don't want to say this, but what happened with the coronavirus? Where is the coronavirus? What happened? Do you know what happened with that coronavirus? We just went from fear, everybody's gonna die, a hundred and something thousand people. In, in, and so now I'm not, I'm not, dis, I'm, 
it is real it is here you need to take care of yourself protect yourself wear a mask wear gloves a space suit if you want to make sure you protect and make sure you protect your family but you can you see what's going on can you see what's going on it is in a strategy of fear and you know what the main you know I don't want to say this but the greatest tool to take your freedom will be fear the greatest weapon to take your freedom will be free fear hallelujah let me keep going I want to get in, uh, in, in, into a situation here that I um, so there are five levels of spiritual warfare personal you fight in regional you fight against uh, a, a spiritual in the community um, I remember in Cuba we had a, our city was really uh, uh, heavy in uh, violence people were fighting every day and and we have uh, I had a vision one time that I saw a slave going uh, and and there was a, a, a conga in a place with a snake and that was a real conga with a a fake snake that they, I, I saw a slave dressed in white coming out of that snake and he was had a machete and, and, sh and shackles and uh, and he was going to the churches and in my vision I saw the spirit going to the churches and waiting for people to get into the churches to put the, the shackles and everything and people were getting into the churches without with with that oppression and couldn't worship and I saw the same spirit going to uh, parties and celebrations and giving people the machete so people can fight and die and after that I saw that same demon that was in a place joining hands with the thousands of demons protecting and protecting our city and that was a revelation that was a original spirit that I have to fight with and go against that so we went and we took care of that they say the third point will be the church there are a spirit that in the Bible says that this the, the spirit they, they say that uh, hell will not prevail uh, the, the the gates of hell will not prevail you know but the gates of hell and you go deep in the translation means the gardens the ones who protect the gates of hell will not come will not prevail against the church so they are a spirit that they protect the gates of hell that they will not prevail because there are the uh, very very powerful spirits and one of those spirits that I'm going to be speaking to you right now the third the fourth will be air the in the earth earth air you can see the oppression not only in a region but in a that it will, it will overtake more than one region and this the number five will be a nation and we see what's going on in our nation right now that uh, we do need to pray guys we do need to pray for America but also we need to go out there and 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 and, 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 and release the kingdom I was just excited uh, to see uh, here in Newark last night a couple of uh, people from our church, probably more, but there were two that they took uh, videos and everything. I was just so excited to see them there releasing the kingdom and getting into those places. Because if we don't get into the, if we just stay in the light, the light should be going to the darkness, not the darkness coming to the light. So we are waiting for people to come into the church. When, the, when it is not like that, the light, when, you, when, you go, when you're going to go to a dark place, you bring the light with you. So go get, bring the light. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be speaking right now in a couple, couple minutes. I'm gee, 20 minutes already. Come on. Um, I'm going to be speaking about the spirit of Leviathan. And I'm probably going to say uh, uh, spirit. I thought that was an animal. Um, and and, and there, are there are things in the Bible... That, for example, Jezebel, and, and you're going to hear in the, the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Elijah, the spirit of things. It's not that it's a name of that, but it, we name the spirits. It, we name the manifestation of how the spirit moves and they do things. That's why you say the spirit of Elijah, Elijah came, uh, and I'm preaching by the spirit of this. The, the spirit of the Lord came up, upon that person, the spirit of Jezebel and things like that so we're going to talk about the a spirit that we can call a spirit of leviathan because we see the same manifestation of this and this spirit Could that make sense if you need more this is a whole message big time probably two three hours that i'm going to give it to you in a couple of minutes so if you have any questions just please type it over there and we probably can get to do the whole thing very soon pastor jeff can you read uh, isaiah chapter um, I think it's 27 verse 27, 1. 27, mm 1. -hmm. 
In that day, the Lord will take his terrible swift sword and punish Leviathan, the swiftly moving servant, the coiling, writhing serpent. He will kill the dragon of the sea. Wow. Wow. As you, if, you, if you hear that, it is a prophetic uh, revelation of an, a spirit that will raise up in the last time, in the, in, in the, in especially this time right here. It is the king of the sons of pride. And, and Leviathan have something very, uh, that different spirits don't have. It's the Leviathan have Satan's character. Leviathan, it's pride. And the, the, first, and the, the first step to, to take you to, uh, uh, to a place of dying, the place of destruction, is pride. So there's another scripture that, it's Proverbs um, chapter six, 16, verse 18. Um, that's that one, Julie? Your boast becomes a prophecy of a future failure. The higher you lift yourself up in pride, the harder you'll fall in disgrace. Wow. Um, okay, children, uh, it, it, uh, let me go. Let me go. Let me, let's do the next uh, scripture, please. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Yeah. There are six things the Lord hates. No, even things, seven things he detests. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill the innocent, a heart that plots evil, feet that race to do wrong, a false witness who pours out lies, a person who sows discord in a family. Well, wow. one of the things that we all have, or we all can just, is a mirror for us, is pride. And it's amazing how mankind will always, we always have to fight against pride, against not falling into that stage or place that you can say, okay, I deserve it, I, this is it. And it's a thin line when you feel, okay, I deserve it because I'm a son of God, and that's it. And we all think, we, we all are sons of God and all that stuff. But at the same time, pride will be the first step to take us to destruction. There is a, a uh, something I want to share with you tonight before I, um, I give to, to the prophets. And this is how I see the, the spiritual uh, um, life. Let's say this is Newark, Ohio right here. Our beautiful city. This is Newark, Ohio. We have, our, we have businesses, we have houses, we have uh, our, uh, I don't know, places that, and everything. This is our city right here. And let's just say this is a, a normal, a natural city. This is not in a spiritual. Over this city, there is something that we'll call, let's just, let's just say, let, let me put two examples right here. There's in a spiritual world that, that Daniel uh, talked about the third heaven. There is a, the first heaven. Uh, we see it right here, second and the third one. And that's one time Daniel was praying and he said, uh, the angel came. He said, I, it took me so long because I was fighting the prince of uh, Persia, I think. And, and I, could, I was just ready to answer you, but I couldn't because it was in a spiritual warfare. I believe that after Jesus died, the, the, the heaven came, came down to earth. So that, that, uh, that thing of second and third heaven... I don't think it works right now. I think he already break through when you saw the Holy Spirit coming to earth, when Jesus died and, and, and turned the, the veil and all that stuff. Like I said, I have so many scriptures that I could take you right now, but uh, I, I don't have no, uh, time. But there's a spiritual world right now, world right here. And those spiritual world have, uh, have demons and have all the, the uh, principality that, uh, that operates or, or a uh, governor that operates over a region. So this here... It is a power that rules the city. It has control and power of the city. And I, I can call this here, uh, let's say this, is, this here, here are columns. Columns, like if you build a house, I don't know if I'm saying that right. If you build a house and you have those things that sustain the, the ceiling, sustain the atmosphere. So these things here are, and we can call this uh, columns and, and places, we can call here thrones. Thrones are places when enemy, the enemy receive worship. So worship will uh, the enemy. Listen to this. What was the prayer? The, pro, the the first problem that Satan had in heaven, pride, because he wants to take worship. 
So he's always been looking, he was always been looking for worship. And every single thing that can bring him worship, he will do it. If he makes you fear, he's bringing worship to himself. That's why fear works really good for him because fear is a type of worship. So this here we can call throne. We can call this is a, 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 let's say, let's just say this is a place when we sell pornography. That brings worship to the enemy. This is a place that they, they, they practice pro- prostitution. This is a place that, that we have witchcraft, let's say. We have, there's another place that uh, we have a, uh, a um, abuse with kids and children and things like that. And you know, there's uh, places in the city, you can say, okay, that, that's a hot spot over there. There's a lot of abuse in that area. And say, so why? So everybody moved that way? No, there's no spirit over, over that area. So these are places that they bring worship to the enemy. So as if these things here get strong, the atmosphere gets strong. So as we move forward, we, knew, we, knew, we need to do this. And this is Newark right here. Okay. And I don't like this one here. Okay. This is Newark. And this is the kingdom of hell. And this is the kingdom of heaven. This is how, how I see it right now. It is not the kingdom of hell over the city. I feel the kingdom of hell, it is illegal in this community. The kingdom of hell, it is illegal. Death is illegal. Drugs and alcohol are illegal. Uh, abuses are illegal. Uh, uh, people more, more killing and, and abusing and, and, and pornography is illegal. And, and all that stuff that I mentioned right now are illegal in Jesus' name, in the spirit around. So how we do here, every time we bring worship up, we, 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 we bring this atmosphere over our city. So every time you are in your house and I say, you said to yourself, I know this coronavirus, it is danger, could kill me, could destroy my family, but I'm stepping up in faith and I'm, and I'm biting to fear and I'm bringing worship, turning my worship music up and building that. You know, a, you know this here, right here, these things right here are not churches, are your home. The place of worship, it is not just the church, it's your home, it's your job, it's your building. Everywhere you go, you build an altar of praise and worship. And that is re- yeah. releasing and expanding an atmosphere. Have you been in a place that you, I mean, one of the most awkward, I mean, the hard places is elevators. Elevators. You go to a hotel and you have a bunch of, don't touch me, or... And you know, if you go to the fourth floor and whatever, and, and nobody talks, it's just and waiting for someone to, to give the same thing. You know what I, I do? I love, I love to do, go in, in elevators because I start singing. And, and, I, and now that, that I know the blessing, the son, the blessing, I was just going to sing, may his favor go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you, within you. And I was just releasing. Because there's some, there's power when you release the worship, when you open your mouth. The spirit of Leviathan, it is based first in pride. Every time you see a prideful heart, it is a potential target for the spirit of Leviathan. And that's what we are seeing in America. Why, do, why is it so hard for us to say, I'm, I was wrong? You know how many wars or fights of, of discussions of things and all of that we, we, we could have stopped just saying, I, I'm sorry. I'm just calling you. If you're watching right now, if you're mad, just put your heart together with God because, you know, the enemy wants to take you. He wants to take you down. He wants to take down this country. The first point for the Leviathan spirit is that the second will be twisting the, the reality and, and I'm sorry if, I, if you don't like this but our media you know, in this, it, it is a disaster if you don't like it that, that's fine, media is a disaster you can see it right now coronavirus still killing people there, there's a new thing going on and we are always, you know what, I'm tired to turn on my TV or turn on or, or open my laptop and uh, they, they only see, the only thing I see is bad news because good, good news are not selling 
People are not buying to good news. I was just tired. And the other day, I closed my computer, closed my Facebook, saying, let me just go to the right channel. Let me just go to the right news. And oh, I went and opened my Bible and said, what are you saying about this season? And he said, I'm still good. I'm still the healer. I'm still the saver. I still, oh my goodness. I am God. And that's the news I'm getting right now. But the spirit of Leviathan will twist. Reality will change your reality right now. And, you're, and the, the sad part of this is that we are, if you, it, is a, it is a war right now if you turn on your TV. It is a war. The other day I was just watching, I was just kind of getting depressed. Depression was coming into my, into my life. It's just depression. I have three babies and they're going to be born. And they were born in this mess and things like that. And, and what I'm going to do, look at what this channel is saying. This channel is and they're killing people. They're, they're, um, uh, 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 the, the people are saying this and that and, and changing. And just to, I was just searching for a good news and searching. And I couldn't find it. And I couldn't find it. And I couldn't find it. And I, I, I said, Padre, Padre. <laughs> I said, Father, I, I need you to tell me because I have three daughters that, I, uh, that they were born in this time and season. Are they going to be part of this mess? And God said, I want you to become a good news. I want you to become a good news. I'm not over. I'm not done with this world yet. There are so many people that need to hear the still need to hear the word of God. There are so many people that they still need to hear that he's good, that he's a good daddy. That he's not doing what people are doing right now. He's still a good daddy. He's still coming after you. He's still coming after you. He still want, he wants to see you saved. He wants to see you restored. He still want, he wants to restore America back up again. He wants to make this country again. That country that was sending missionaries to around the world. The greatest revival for America. It is coming. It is right here. I, we are the good news. And the good news are this. Even with the Leviathan spirit, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go after this right now. We're gonna fight against this Leviathan spirit. We're gonna speak, speak about uh, 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 God will release His heart over this nation. And that's I was just asking what what type of spiritual warfare you want us to do? When you want us to fight the spirit? I said I want you to release my heart over America. That's the only people needs to hear and feel. My loving heart for this country. The pain I'm feeling. The pain I'm feeling. You know, God can change everybody, anybody. I'm going to share a testimony before I give these amazing leaders the opportunity to come and pray. Uh, one time I was in my house. Uh, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. I was single. Uh, and I was... Uh, Two o'clock in the morning, I woke up and God said to me, I want you to go and get, let's just eat something. Uh, uh, 40, 15 years old, I was just skinny. I could eat, I could eat everything at that time. And God said to me at two, two, three, two, two thirty in the morning, I want you to wake up. Come on, let's, let's just eat something. And um, I walked like four blocks from my house. And I, uh, I, I, was pr- I've been, I was praying at that time for a guy who was like this big, uh, like heaven did, did. He was just like this big, very aggressive man. Uh, he was known because he always had a machete, very sharp, ready, and he was in, he was in uh, prison like three, four times because of attacking people. He was just a very aggressive guy. And I, I, I took him as my target for a couple of months. And every time we just seeing him, I said, I'm praying for you. Uh, and he was saying, Pastor, uh, don't pray for me. Pray for my machete. He said, no, pray for me. Don't pray for me. Pray for my machete that I have good. Uh. So I said, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your heart. And I remember I was just like two or three months after praying for him. That night he said, go. And I was just walking four blocks from my house. And I was just going to uh, get something. And I saw this guy in the corner sitting with his machete. And he was just sobbing, crying, sobbing and crying. And I said, Papa, I don't think this is a good moment. <laughs> He's crying, he's upset, he was machete. This is the great opportunity for him to uh, release his power. <laughs> and, and so I went there and said, uh, hey, hey, buddy, are, are you okay? And he, he said, I don't want to talk to anybody right now. I said, 
just let's just talk. Like, you want you want something to eat? He says, okay, let's go. And I went and buy something for him. And when I sat down with him, he said he said to me, you know what I, what I, what I'm coming from right now? I just I just finished work. Uh, and I went home. When I got into my home, I saw my best friend with my wife. They were having sex. And I was ready to kill both of them. But my heart was so broken that I couldn't do it. I'm here just to just bring my, my energy down for a couple of minutes. I'm going to go back and kill them both tonight. And I said to him, you know what? I was just my bed sleeping. And God said to me to come here. And this is what I want to tell you. If you're broken right now, there's no better way, no better time for you to give your life to Jesus. And I start preaching the gospel to this big guy. After, after probably 10 minutes, the guy was crying, but not because he was upset, but because he had Jesus in his heart. You know, sometimes the, the, the brokenness of this world, it's just a tool that we can use for people to come to Christ. If you're watching right now, this is the great opportunity. Just ask some questions. If you want to receive Christ, in the end of this time, we're going to pray for you. But I just want to shut up right now because I speak too much. And I want to ask, I want to just, let's just start praying. And I'm going to invite you guys to come up front. If Pastor Jeff, you want to start? Come here. Uh, pa, Joel, it, also you, you too. And, and, and we're going to tag team. And we're going to be praying for the nation, praying for you. And if you have any, um, any prayer requests, just, uh, just come. Both of you, yeah. Both of you come up here. Um, and just, just feel free. Come here. Not important. Not important. Not important. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. We, we're going to pray first for the nation. And uh, peace of the nation. After that, we're going to be praying for the prayer requests you guys have, okay? Pastor Jeff, feel free, feel free to just go ahead. And everybody, you guys here, stand up if you want. Just, let's just release the, the fire of God over this place. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Come, 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 come. Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Papa, touch everybody's heart right now. Everybody that's watching right now, touch our nation. We cry out for America. We cry out for America right now. We cry out for America right now in Jesus' name. 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 We cry out for America. We cry out for America. We cry out for America. Oh, Bring your kingdom. Oh, your kingdom. Establish your kingdom. Establish your kingdom. Thank you, Father. All other kingdoms will be destroyed, yes. but the kingdom of God will stand the test of time. Nothing can defeat it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the kingdom of God. Father, in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. If you're watching right now, start praying. Start praying. Start releasing the kingdom. Come on. Start releasing the kingdom. If you're right here, start releasing the kingdom. If you feel uh, some of uh, the people are right here, if you feel something, just come and tell me. And, and we're going to start releasing this over everybody that's watching right now. He's so holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. We declare your heart over America, your heart over America. Your heart over America, your heart over America, the heart of peace, the heart of peace over America. We cry out for more revival. Revive us, Lord, right now. Revive us. Revival coming over America. Revival coming over America. The greatest revival, the greatest revival, Father. Eat that up. Awaken your people. Awake the army. Awake the army. Awake the army. The hearts of sons and daughters coming back. The star, the hearts of sons and daughters. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Mm, thank you, Father. We humble ourselves before you. Father, allow us to humble ourselves so that you don't have to humble us. Father, help us to see and to be seen as the light. Let us take it to the streets, Father. Take it back. Take it back. The kingdom of God is here. Let us take it back. Hallelujah. 
holy, 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 holy. We release your heart over this nation. Your heart over this nation. Your heart over this nation. Holy Spirit. Your heart over this nation. The heart of the Father over this nation. The heart of the Father over this nation. The heart of the Father of this nation. Oh, bring back. Bring back. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit, move. Holy Spirit, move. Oh, Oh, Holy Spirit, oh, Holy Spirit, oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I want to invite you guys uh, to come up here. Those who are here with me, come up here for a second. Uh, Joel is bringing the the American flag right now, and we we're gonna pray. Come on, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, come more, more Holy Spirit, more Holy Spirit. You, you guys can come up here. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Mm. You guys are more than welcome to come up here. Come. Mm. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Mm. Yes. We cry, Father God, for this nation, God. Yes. Lord, a nation yes. that is free, yes. God. A free, God. Mm. To, to, uh, Lord, a free in speech, God. Lord, yes. we just come before you right yes, now. Yes, Jesus. And we thank you, Father, mm. that by the blood of Jesus Christ, you are healing Ooh, this nation. You are healing this country thank you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. God, thank you, Jesus. we just come against every thank you, darkness Jesus. by thank the you, power Jesus. and the blood of Jesus Christ. The airways, God, yes. the airways of darkness, God, in yes. fear and confusion, yes. God. We come against it in Jesus' name. It has yes. no authority over the United States of America. Yes. God, we pray for Ooh, unity, da, 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 unity of heart, da, 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 unity of heart, God, mm. mind, body, and soul, God. We just come before you. We surrender, God. We surrender all our agendas, mm. God, that you be Holy Spirit, Holy in Spirit. Jesus' name. Thank you for your goodness, Holy God. Spirit, Holy Thank Spirit, you Holy Spirit. Goodness, God. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Fill this country with your prayer, with your glory. Release the power of this country. Your glory over America. Your glory over America. Your glory over America. Oh, the greatest. Thank you, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We come against any, the, 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 the oppression. We come against a, the, the strategy of the enemy over this country right now. And we declare the, the blood of Jesus over America right now. The blood of Jesus over America right now. The blood of Jesus. Oh, cleans all oh, of Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on. Come on, prophets. Prophesy. 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 Mm. We are one nation under God, mm. indivisible. With liberty yes. and justice for all. Yes. The enemy seeks to divide mm. us, but we will be yes. united. Yes. 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 The best is yet to come, America. <laughs> Father, I think about all the blood of the many thousands of soldiers, Father, that gave their life for this country, yes. for this beautiful land called United yes. States. Yes. And Father, yes. their blood is crying yes. out from the ground to you. Father, for, to bring justice, yes. to bring order, to bring yes. discipline, to bring the peace yes. of God that takes yes. all the understanding, Father. Mm. Father, we stand in authority with all my brothers and sisters here, mm. God, crying out for this beautiful mm. land, Father. Thank you, that Jesus. all these people, all these soldiers, Thank you, oh God, Thank you, through Jesus. the ages, oh God, the first war, the second war, Father, and people Thank who you, have Jesus. died, Thank you, Jesus. it wasn't in vain, Father. Woo! So we, we take God. authority by the power and authority of the blood of Jesus, Thank God. You. We thank you, God, that you gave us the authority to pray, to cry. Yes. You gave us the liberty, oh God, to stand in a corner, to open the Bible, to preach thank the gospel Jesus. with thank liberty, Jesus. Father. And no thank one is going to take that liberty from us, Father. Thank you you gave us the thank liberty, you, Father, to celebrate Christmas. Thank you, you gave us the liberty, Father, to celebrate your resurrection, Father, in any church, Father. And no one is going to take that liberty from us, Father. So we pray on behalf of America, Father, that it will not stop going forward Whoa. with the gospel. Oh, to hallelujah, the corners of the earth, Father. Hallelujah. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ will continue to go 
from yes. this country, Father. Thank you, God, for this country. I was able to receive Christianity in my heart. I was able to receive Jesus in my heart, Father. Being in Mexico, coming here, Father, I embrace you and I receive you, God. I pray, Father, that that will not stop, Father. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for yes. your grace. I thank you for the Hallelujah. liberty that you Hallelujah. have given us, Hallelujah. Father. In Jesus' name, we stand in the authority Woo! of Christ Jesus. Can feel and we cry out, Woo! peace be stable. Yes. Peace be well, in this country. Oh, peace be in this country, hallelujah. Father. Just as you spoke, Father, to the waves, Father. Yes. Jesus, when you were in the boat and you say, peace be still. Peace. We call peace in this country, Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 Father, Ooh. we just pray, Father God, that the eyes of our heart would be open. That they would be bigger than the eyes in our head, but the eyes of our heart would be open to serve you and to do the yes. things that you have called us to mm. do. Father, I just thank you, Lord God, that we will lay down our agenda and do your agenda. That we may come together, like as I just has been prayed out, that we would be united. Father, I just thank you that the eyes of our heart are bigger than the eyes in our head. That we will open our eyes towards you, Lord. And that we would lay our lives down, Father God, for what you have called us to do. In Jesus' name. Wow. Fa Father, Father, right now, and I want you to get with me here. We pray against race, uh, races, racism, or whatever it is. In, 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 and right now, that's in the spirit. That's not coming. There is no, there is a, a, there is one person that shed his blood for every single color, every single language, everybody. So we break the spirit of uh, racism right now in Jesus' name. No more races. In Jesus' name. We pray against that right now. We are one in Jesus Christ. We are one under God. One. Everybody was washed by his blood. So if your blood, blue, white, yellow, whatever, like me, I don't even know what color I am. Well, I declare the blood of Jesus over your life. No more races. Woo! Oh, race. Oh, Rama Rama Mashada. Uro Roho Soto Roho Haya. Beth has, has messaged us and said that we should pray that the seed sown downtown yesterday will germinate and grow and multiply for family father relationships. Hallelujah. 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 More. More. If you guys, you guys just feel, just if you guys feel to pray for it, come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Father, is if from from that small city Jesus came, <laughs> that's very small city like Norwich. Father, if something came good from that city, we declare that it is a seed of restoration over our country. What we saw yesterday in, in, our, in our square right here. And we declare that this seed is going. I'm not praying against blindness to the situation. I'm praying, I'm praying that justice will be done. But I'm also praying that, that hearts will come back to you. The restoration will come. The restoration for families will come. Restoration for cities. Though I mean Minneapolis, I think is a mess right now. Minnesota, and we declare, Papa, in Jesus' name, restoration, the blood of Jesus. Woo. Oh, Ramakandara, Sataraya. Mm. Healing, 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 healing in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. America, you're not over. <laughs> God is not. Uh, it's just the beginning of the best. It's yet to come. The best is yet to come, America. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Mm. Oh, holy, 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 holy. Father, holy. I lift mm. up marriages. Wow, thank I you, Jesus. I lift up marriages. Thank I you, lift Jesus. up the fathers oh. being in the home. So yes. much of the challenges yes. we face are because of the lack of a male role model mm. in the home. Father, it is an attack of the enemy on the fathers in this nation that they not be there to teach, to, to give the word, to stand up and show hallelujah, a child hallelujah, how hallelujah. they should go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we hallelujah. look to you, Father, mm. and we need the fathers in America to stand up and stand on your word teach and give that word wow. to their children and to their wow. families wow. be that wow. solid voice in their lives wow thank you father wow jesus 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 
Papa, every time we see a Moses, we see a crisis. Every time we see a Joshua, we see a crisis. When we saw Jesus, there was a crisis. So crisis gave birth to supernatural men and women of God. Papa, we declare that there is an army rising up right now from every church. I don't care about yes. denomination yes. or whatever. There is yes. an army that is not about names or last right. name. It's an army that is racing up right now because there is a crisis. Right. There is a church rising up right now. But the blood of Jesus, I command you right now wake up to stand up and fight in the spiritual round oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus before we start praying for uh, petitions or something like that I, I want to uh, challenge family of faith this uh, especially the family that God gave me in, uh, uh, but also those who are watching that uh, on those who are going to be watching this video that you're not from family of faith and not even from Newark I'm going to challenge you something that for the next month from the what day stay is the third let's just just finish July the fourth of July that could be that that's going to be the last day I'm going to challenge you right now that for a month every day at 10 a.m. we all can get together and pray for our nation Every day at 10 a.m., if you're working, if you're in your job or your home, whatever, at 10, 10 a.m., it can, can be one minute, two minutes, two minutes, three minutes, one hour, something like that, but for a month. And we're going to be promoting this as a church, but for a month at 10 a.m., those who are watching, let's just make a commitment to pray for this amazing country, the country that gave me freedom. That I, uh, this is a country that it, 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 it is America. It is its heart. I think is the heart of the world right now. It, uh, the enemy wants to destroy us, but they, uh, you know what? God has a plan for our nation. God has a plan for you and for our, and for everybody. So every morning from now, and we're gonna finish the fourth of July. We're gonna be praying for our nation. Are you with me? Come on, let's do it. Okay. Hallelujah, Pastor Jeff. Can you? Uh, do they have any uh, prayer requests? Or yeah, something we have like two prayer requests, and I don't think it's any coincidence. Both deal with family. Uh, Lisa's asked we pray for her, hus her husband's salvation and restoration of their marriage. And Mary Lee has asked for breakthrough in her family. Wow. Uh, Teresa, can you pray for the first one? Um, Father, I thank you that your heart has always been over people, your creation. And Father, I thank you for the anointing of the lost. I thank you, yes. Father, for the mm. anointing to break the yes. yoke for the lost. Father, I lift mm. up Lisa's husband in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Father, for opening his eyes mm. And his heart, his mind to the things of God. Father, I thank you for the power and the presence. Yes. And Father, I thank you for ministering spirits sent forth to minister those whom shall be heirs of salvation. Wow. I thank you, Father, for the angelic host to be in sent because, Father, they're sent because we speak your word. And it, you said, Hallelujah. you are not willing that any should perish you're not willing that any should perish you're not willing that any should perish mm. but all should come to the knowledge of jesus christ Amen. of nazareth so father we thank you father for the anointing mm. we thank you holy spirit the bible says the holy spirit brings you to repentance i thank you father for the very presence of the holy spirit ministering mm. to her husband everywhere mm. he goes yes. every step he takes and father I thank you that it's already done and I just pray that he receives hmm thank you father I don't know where the scripture is and it's in Acts you will open his eyes and turn him from the power of Satan to the power of God and you will turn him from dark to light, and that he receives the inheritance in Jesus Christ. Wow. Thank you, Father, Thank you, in Jesus. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Wow. 
Well, can Angie pray for the second one? Yeah. So, Father, I just thank you right now for Mary Lee. I thank you, Father God, that mm. she is an awesome, mighty woman of God. Yes. I thank you, Father God, that she yes. loves you so yes. much, yes. God. I thank you, Father, that she loves her family so much. And I just declare breakthrough right now thank in the you, name Jesus. of Jesus in her family. I thank you, God, for revelation thank for you, her Daddy. daughter right now thank in the you, name of Jesus. We just declare right now encounters with you, God, for her daughter. Encounters with you. Father, when she lays her head down at night, God, she would encounter you. When she wakes in the morning, she will see you, God. I thank you for it. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough in Mary Lee's family right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, we had a request for healing for J.E. and J. And J, yeah. Okay, Father, we lift you up. Your promises are true. We stand upon your word, and your word is that we are the healed of the Lord. So, Father, nothing can come between us and that healing. So we thank you, Father, right now for healing, overcoming, and overtaking mm. the bodies of J.E. and of J., that they are the healed of the Lord, that they will see this, Ooh, they will see this healing and recognize you are in the yes. midst of their lives. Yes. You will change them forever through the miracle of healing them and being true to your word. So, Father, we thank you. Your word is yes and amen. We stand on that promise, and we say healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Released, set Woo! free from whatever yes. attack is after yes. them. You are set free from whatever that is, in Jesus' name. Wow. We, we're going we're gonna to pray for the youth right now. Everybody that's, come on. Father, we just lift up the youth of this community, the youth of this nation. Lord, just everything that has happened mm. to them in the last month with not going to graduation and just sports being canceled, we just lift them up to you. Lord, we just thank you that this isn't a, a discouragement, but they can focus on you. We ask that you just remove the blinders that the Satan that Satan has put on their that their eyes, that they would be able to reach out to you and pull down your strength, Father God. And and Lord, I just ask that you just just speak truth into their life. Send them who, who, whoever they need to hear One. from. Send them truth, Father Hallelujah. God. Lord, just remove the blinders. Lord, I just thank you, Father God, Hallelujah. that they will respect and that that they that they will know that obedience is better than sacrifice. And Father, I just ask that the, the doors of opportunity to be open up their way, Lord God, and that f they wouldn't operate in fear or, or, or dismay, but they would have a destiny that you've yes. called them into, yes. Father yes. God, yes. following a purpose in their life. And Lord yes. God, that just because some things have gotten taken away from them in the last few weeks, that you still have a destiny and a purpose for yes. their life, Father God. Lord, we just thank you that doors of opportunity will be, be in front of them. In Jesus' name, wow. amen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank God for your life. Thank God for every for these amazing people that were here tonight. And uh, before, before we close tonight, um, there is a, there's an opportunity we're going to extend to you right now. Uh, you, uh, there is a song that I love. It's, uh, there's, no, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming up. After me, or something like that. Yeah. So I, I love because sometimes you feel you're coming after Jesus, but it's not like that. He's been coming, He's been going after you since you were born. Even before you were born, He knew your name, He had a purpose for your life. So if you're watching right now, you feel depressed, if you feel I'm, gonna, I'm ready to give up right now, He knows your name. He knows your name. He has a pur purpose for you, He wants you. You feel how can I how can I accept a God that I just I gave my I just gave up and kept going and I remember I was in church one time and and I left the church and I don't feel coming back to Christ right now and, and you know this is not about feeling feelings can lie to us this is about about purpose this is about going back to knowing who I am and you know God is ready tonight to say I want to show you who you are because there's no way you can find who you are there's no way you can abide and you can survive in this world without me so I'm going to invite you and I'm going to give you the opportunity tonight to say I want Jesus 
I want the amount Jesus in my heart. I'm going to make decisions. And every day we make different decisions. But this will be the main and the most important decisions you will ever make in your life. It's giving your heart to your Savior, to your daddy. So if you are watching right now, and, and if you're driving, don't close your eyes. But if you're home or you're somewhere that you can close your eyes, just close your eyes and, and repeat with me. Jesus, I open up my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive my sin. You're mine. And I'm, I'm yours. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. After this prayer, the only thing you need to do is just connect with us. If you're watching right now and you're not from, from our city or close to a family of faith, just find a church, find a pastor, someone that can guide you through this amazing life. Remember, God didn't promise you that you, everything will be fine, that you are not going to have any problems in your life, but He promised you that in every single area in your life, He will be with you. And that's the promise I want. I want a God that even through my mess, He's willing to walk with me. So if you're watching right now, God bless you. I love you. We love you right here. Uh, we're going to have on Sunday Pastor. morning an amazing service. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, fine. Okay. Sorry. I didn't think this was God was going to have me share this okay. this soon, but I thought it was going to be later. But I was out till in the garden today, and the Spirit of God came on me, and uh, I don't know who you are. But I thought this was going to be later. I didn't know it was going to be tonight. Mm. You are riddled with sin. This is a specific word for somebody. That you are riddled with sin. And it, you're riddled with disease from sexual sin. Wow. And Father, Papa, mm. wants to give you a kiss on the forehead. And he... He is going to heal you. Hallelujah. Of, it may be more than one, but like I said, I didn't think, I, you know, and I said, yes, Father, I will do that. I will, I will lay hands on someone. I will do whatever you want. I will, whether that's AIDS or HIV, I, whatever, Father, I said, yes, I will lay hands on them. I did not know it was going to be tonight, so I don't know who you are, but when I was holding the flag, I felt like Papa was saying, the, I want to kiss you. Wow. And this is a kiss from heaven to show that he loves you and forgives you. And there's more with that, but I don't know what else to release, but I will release that. Wow. Thank you, Father. Go ahead and pray. You want to release for, it now? For who? For, for the who? person. For... Heavenly Father, I, I thank you that you are... Mm -hmm a loving father that Jesus died for your sins yes. though they are many you know we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God all of us right here we've all sinned yeah. and uh, but I, I thank you father that you are you are speaking to somebody specifically and nobody knows there's the secret things that God knows so I just release the kisses from heaven from Papa to you because he loves you thank you Father wow 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 hallelujah hallelujah thank you thank you thank you thank you Jesus what a great daddy we have huh he's awesome he's the best the best one